What's up guys, Joey66 back again. Um, today I will be doing a music tag. Um, I found this tag by a user named Meowiwana. You know, like marijuana, but it's meow in the front. Uh, search her on YouTube, she's pretty cool. So I saw this tag and I was like, cool, I love music. Let me do this tag. Um, I thought it was interesting. I have not read them, so it'll be interesting just uh figuring it out. Um, okay, so the question, the first question is, which band's artist do you own? Which band, which band artist do you own the most albums by? Um, of course, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I have all of his albums. Um, most of his albums, I'm gonna say, because I'm pretty sure I don't have all his albums. Uh, because I would include Jackson 5 albums but anyway um, I have a lot of his albums and I also have a lot of Chris Brown uh, music um, and I'm talking about like Spotify I don't really own um, CDs anymore so um, but yeah um, I think Chris Brown is a great musician and yeah he has a bad history but who does it you know and um i think it's amazing how he can make music and just these and just find lyrics to them i think that's pretty damn cool um number two what was the last song you listened to uh the last song was uh called tour guide by natural the rapper and uh, it features stofa these two are YouTubers, and um, Natural is a rapper from California. You can YouTube YouTube him. He's he's pretty dope. Number three, what's in your CD player right now? I don't have a CD player, but in my car I do have Eminem on all the time. Um, number four, what was the last show you attended? I attended Drake's uh, concert. It was pretty cool. I like Drake. Um, it featured Jean, uh, Jean Aiko, Future Lil Wayne, Future Lil Wayne, meh, but the concert was pretty cool. What was the greatest show you've ever been to? Uh, the greatest show I've ever been to is Usher's Truth Tour back in 2004. That was actually my first concert ever. It was featuring Kanye West when he first came out, John Legend when he first came out, and it also had Ludacris, Little John, and Christina Milian was like opening for Usher. Um, number six, what was the worst show you've ever been to? <laughs> the worst show I've ever been to. Uh, back in Colorado, I went to this rock concert with someone, and we saw the Sick Puppies. If you don't know who the Sick Puppies are, it's like a rock band, and, uh, I, I'm not sure where they're from, but it, I just feel like I didn't fit in. I, I don't know, it was boring. Especially because I didn't know the group, but anyway. Um, number seven, what's the most musically involved you've ever been to? Or bit you've ever been? Um, let's see, uh, well I did write a song called Little Things I Do with, me with a melody. And I do play piano and drums by ear, so I think that's pretty cool. That's as far as I go with music. Um, what show are you looking forward to? Uh, no shows at the moment, um, but I would love to see Eminem live in concerts. I would love to. Uh, what is your favorite band shirt? I don't have any band shirts. I think that's pretty tacky. Personally, I don't know. Um, what musician would you like to hang out for a day? Eminem, just because I've seen him inter i just seen his interviews and I think he's really funny. I think he's so so realistic and I just love that for, about people. I love people that are just so real and they're, and they're blunt and just say they say whatever the fuck they want to say. You know, I mean, like I like people that are real but just don't insult me. You know what I mean? Just people that are real about life in general. I love that about people. Um, let's see. Who is one musician or group you'd wish would make a comeback? Um, for, like I was thinking Eminem, but he just came out. He's doing a tour outside of the U.S., which sucks, because I wish he'd do a, a tour here in the U.S. Um, but that's about it, really. A comeback? Nobody else. Um, who is uh, one band artist you'd never see you've never seen live but always wanted to? Of course, Eminem and Beyonce because I've seen her 
like a few clips of her uh, concert. That shit is dope. Just the way she dances and the lights and her choreography, I think it's amazing. I would love to see Beyonce in concert. Uh, name four more flawless albums. Okay. Flawless albums. Um, Eminem's New CD, the LP album. Usher's Confessions. Uh, Chris Brown Fame. Rihanna Unapologetic. And Justin Timberlake's Justified. And of course, I would say Michael Jackson, but we all know that he's the greatest ever and you know and everybody likes him so number 15 how many music related videos DVDs do you own this is funny because when I was younger as a teen I would always stay home and all I did was watch music videos and boy band groups which is which were 98 degrees Backstreet Boys and Insic. I was a big fan of all of them and I would record every freaking performance of Insync's or Backstreet Boys and it was the same freaking song um, I was just obsessed, what can I say? Um, I also own, uh, all of MJ's DVDs, like musical, um, video DVDs. I have a few live concerts of his. I do have Usher's Confessions concert, because I always wanted to remember it, since I also went to see him. And, yeah, a lot of boy band clips. Um, how many concerts, shows have you been to? Okay, let's think. Um, I went to Usher's Truth Tour concert. I went to the, I went to see Blue Man Group. They're really funny. I went to Cirque du Soleil once. I went to see Slick Rick in Colorado, which is really cool. My ex took me. I thought that was pretty dope. Um, Drake, Carlos Vives, Grupo Nietzsche, which is a Spanish shit. I saw Zion and Lennox. Uh, who else? I saw Celia Cruz, but that was like a cancer type of concert. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, who have you seen the most live? I've seen Usher twice. The first one was the tour concert, but the second one was like a foundation type of thing. Like, it was weird. I was like 14, 15. I went to the beach, and I got tickets, and I took my mom, and it was a bunch of celebrities just in the pool we were just looking at them being in the pool and playing games and shit it was weird nobody sang it was just i just wanted to see like in sync and usher and that's it that, that's the only people and then i just saw them for four that's it they didn't even come say hi the fuckers um anyway so what is your favorite movie soundtrack i like rent the movie if you haven't seen rent Go watch it. I love the song. I like the music. It's it's really cool. I'd watch, watch. I would watch Broadway also if I could. Uh, what was your last musical phase before you wisened up? Wisened up. Um. Music phase. I'm just gonna say Usher again, just cause I've always been obsessed with Usher, and now it's kind of dying down. It's been dying down for the past year like it's like whatever I don't like Usher his music is great don't get me wrong but he's just it's just just not the same anymore <laughs> um it's like whatever Usher great I'm more into like more poetry now more underground music I'm into more poetic type of music if you you know and um I've, I always like uh, people like finding music from people that are not really known and yeah that's basically it really um by the way talking about poetry I do want to promote this because I think it's pretty cool um I was invited to a event an event here in Coral Gables Florida um if you're from Florida Miami Florida you should come down it is a uh poetry event it's on march 10 2014 it's on a monday it starts at 7 p.m i'm going to put the information on the bottom it's at the grove spot um i'm going to be there i will most likely perform um and yeah you should come out and uh enjoy the night and it's being promoted and i want to promote it just because we need more people to come to these shows because uh, it's so hard to get people to come to um poetry shows so you should come down i'm gonna be there 
and come say hi and it'll be cool it'll be fun and it's cool to meet people i want to be i need to meet more uh poetry type of people so that's that thank you have a great week and uh peace bye